Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Alice in Wonderland, a jigsaw puzzle tale on Xbox. Let's take a quick look. Alice in Wonderland, a jigsaw puzzle tale, is basically what it says on the tin. It's a jigsaw puzzle game based on the sort of world from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Now, the game will see you completing puzzles of 12 different pieces of artwork. Now, these have all been um, created by Katia Numakura. Apologies if I've pronounced that wrong. And there are five different levels of difficulty starting with 60 pieces all the way up to 735 pieces so you can sort of pick and choose how sort of in depth you want to play it now the game features a sort of relaxing soundtrack and it also includes like accessibility and help options such as zooming in on the to the scene, highlighting the border pieces, highlighting pieces from a specific quadrant of the board, uh, shuffling the remaining pieces if you want to sort of get a different perspective, uh, previewing the scene and dragging the board. So, like I say, that is basically the game. You'll work your way through it across a variety of different um, pictures once you complete the picture there's a little bit of a story and a slight bit of animation to go with it um, but that's the core part of the game so what did I think of the game well honestly there's not a huge amount to um, say it's basically doing jigsaws on the screen it's nice that there are multiple uh, levels of difficulty it's a nice, chill, relaxing session. Like I say, I, I do enjoy the odd um, jigsaw now and again. But it's not much to this game. That is literally it. You will get it and play it. If you don't like jigsaws, you're not going to find anything for you here. But honestly, if you do like jigsaws, it's there's worse things out there. Now... The game is also pretty easy to get the 1000 gamer score. It's just basically completing multiple scenes in all of the different sizes, basically. Once you complete them all at the different sizes, you'll unlock the 1000 gamer score. Will take you a while because obviously there's quite a lot of pieces in the 735 piece one. And it obviously will get a little repetitive because there's only like a handful of images to work through. Well, if you want something you can just jump on, do a puzzle at a time every now and again. It's not that bad. Um, the the like the accessibility options where it sort of limits the pieces to the edges and also to the quadrants and stuff like that is really useful. I try not to use it straight away until I get um, a bit confused or a bit um, lost. But it's there for those people who want it to make it a little easier. Especially the quadrant thing. Like I tend to put the, the edge one on because when I do a, a jigsaw, I'll do the edge first. But the quadrants thing, like I say, I only save it for when I am truly and utterly stuck. Especially with the bigger p pictures as well. It's not necessarily needed in the smaller pictures. But for the bigger ones, when there's a lot of pieces, it's definitely worth um, having it flicked on just to cut down on what you've got to wade through. Alice in Wonderland, A Jigsaw Puzzle Tale, was released onto the Xbox Store on the 9th of February 2023, developed by Medens Sana Interactive and published by Qbyte Interactive, who were kind enough to send us a copy for this review, so big thank you to them for that. Now, the game's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, and it's priced at £4.19. So, if you are a Jigsaw fan, you'll probably get a kick out of this. I highly recommend checking it out. If you're not, you'd probably want to avoid it. Like I say, there's there's no ifs or buts. It's literally a jigsaw on the screen. The, the controls work pretty well. It's not too frustrating. And it does like clip together when you're close to the correct space and the correct piece. Which does save you a little bit of hassle. But all in all, if you don't like jigsaws, you're not going to like this. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. 
hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.